to, to this class. For today, we are discussing about the second method of solving integration known as substitution method. Right now, in this class, we discussed about the general method of solving a problem involving integration. Right? Now, when it comes to integration, there are three distinct ways of solving problem via integration. The one is called what? the general method, which has been discussed in our previous class. So, check the link provided in the description of this video to watch after the class uh, on our integration. Right? So, here is the second method of solving problem involving integration known as a uh, method of the substitution. How does this work? Uh, note that some given integral variable cannot be integrated using the given integral variable. Hence, the integral variable has to be changed of a half converted into a suitable integral variable for the integration to be done. What do I mean? Example. 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 If I have, if I put to evaluate uh, the integral of 8x, 8x into 3x squared minus 7 up to power 19 dx. If I'm told to integrate this one here, of course, I can use general method, right? So my tax says you want to solve this using what the substitution method. How does this work? That is first, I'll call the term in bracket u. So let the u to equal in value to what? 3x squared minus 7. Obviously, if I solve this one here using our concept of general method of differentiation, I'll have that the u over the x, I am representing u with respect to x because the derivative of x is equal to what? 6x. That's all. Right? At this point, I'll make the x solve the formula. So what do I do? I'll have the u is equal to 6x dx. I what? Multiply. 1 times this is this, this times this is this. Now, I want to make this man here so the formula. So I'll divide by what? 6x. So I have 6x here. I have 6x. Of course, this cancel out this. I'm left with what? The x is equal to what? The u over 6x. At this point, substituting, I'll have that. Substituting, I'll have uh, the integral, the integral of what? 8x. Beside this man here, everything here is u. I'll have dot u next up to power 19. This man to power 19. That is um, u to power 19. Then what? The x. But the x here was what? The x was what? The u over 6x. I'll have the u all over 6x. Observe. 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 At this point, um, I have um, 8x, I have 8x dot, this man here is u, right? I have dot u to power 19 dot, the x was what? The x is what? The u over um, 6x, I'll say 6x. Alright, at this point, what do I do next? Of course, I can see that x can cancel out x here. Yeah? Next up, 2 here is 3, 2 here is 4. Finally, I'll have that the integral of 4. I have 4 times u to the power 19. That's 4 u to the power 19 dot du over 3. Alright, at this point, I can re-express this as saying um, the integral of 4 over 3 um, u to the power 19 dot du. Is it correct? Shift out 3 here. I have 4 over 3. 4, shift out 3 here. 4 over 3. Then u to power 19 dot du, right? I have this. So at this point, I'll apply the concept of what general method of integration that we discussed in our initial class. So do well to watch the first class on our on the um, integration. I'll drop the link in the description of this video. So watch the video before you um, watch this one here. All right. At this point, I'll take out the constant term after the integral sign 
So I have 4 over 3. This one here, outside the integral sign. Next, I have got the 2 to the power 19. So I've got the du. If I integrate 2 to the power 19, of course, I'll have 4 over 3. All into, we said, add up to the power. That is due to power the 19 plus 1. All over, what you have in the power, put it down here. I have 19 plus 1. Of course, plus c. We call it constant of, constant of integration. At this point, I'll have 4 over 3. All into, e to power 20. All over 20 plus c. Of course, 4 year 1, 4 year 1, 5. I'm left with what? 1 times e to power 20 is what? e to power 20 all over 10 and 20 what? I have 15 plus c. At this point, but, but u is equal to what? But u, this man here, u was what? 3x squared minus 7. I have 3x squared minus 7. So put in u here, so that will be equal to um, u is what? 3x squared minus 7 also power 20 all over 15 next up plus 6 as my final answer after integrating this one here right so uh, this is to solve problem uh, using the concept of substitution of uh, substitution method right this is my example and um, let's end this concept right um, example 2 Example 2. If I'm going to evaluate um, evaluate um, the half, let's say the integral of 3x all over root 4 minus x dx. I'm going to integrate um, integral of 3x all over root 4 minus x. What do I do? First of all, I'll call this man here. So let u to be equal to root 4 minus x. Right? At this point, uh, if I square both sides here, I'll have u squared is equal to root 4 minus x all squared. Mathematically, square times now square root, I have u squared is equal to 4 minus x. I will differentiate u squared. This is the concept of what? Implicit differentiation. If I take u squared, I'll have 2u. Next up, attach what? The u over the x to be. It's not equal to. If I differentiate 4 minus x, I'll have what? Minus 1. At this point, I need to get, I need to make the u by x. So the formula. So I will divide what? By 2u. By what? The 2u. Of course, this one has to have this. So I'm left with what? Alright, at this point there, I'm left with what? The u over the x. I have the u over the x to be equal in value to negative 1 over 2u. Negative 1 all over 2u. Alright, our fact says that the value of our 2u to have the u over the x, right? As you can see, is equal to minus 1 over all the 2u. My next fact now is that I'll make the x solve the formula. So I'll have that, the, sorry, perhaps I'll have, if I will apply, I'll have um, the u type, u, 2 u times this, I'll have 2 u the u is equal to negative the x, that is the x times 1 is minus the x. Of course, I have already made the x solid formula, but this is negative, so I want to be uh, positive, so I'll take this negative here, I'll have that the x is equal to negative 2 u. U. At this point, substituting, I'll have that uh, the integral, the integral of a half 3x all over what the, we said all these people here is u. So I have u dot the x. The x was what? The x, we got the x at what? Uh, minus 2u the u. Alright, at this point, I'll have that the integral 3x all over u dot um, perhaps, okay, perhaps, I can simplify this, um, u cancel u, right, 3 times minus 2 is what the minus 6. Next up, I have x and the u, x the u.
calculation. So dot the x, we have the x that we wanted, all this term here, which is this. Next up, I um, divided u by u of minus 2 times 3 minus 6. I'm left with x and what the, the u. At this point, recall something please at this point. Or perhaps you can just take out the constant term outside the integral sign. I'll have that minus 6 integral. This man is the constant term. After the integral sign, I'll have minus 6 integral. What is x uh, perhaps the u? At this point, I need to know the value of x. What will, what will, what will, be, what will be x? From here, from here, I have u squared is equal to 4 minus x. I need to get x. To get x is quite simple. Take x here, I have u squared plus 4 there plus x is equal to 4. So to get x, my tax in is what? Take u here, I have x to be equal to 4 minus u squared. Now put x as equal to minus u squared into this man here. So I have uh, minus 6 the integral. x is now 4 minus u squared. Next up, I have u. I'm going to integrate this here. I'm going to integrate this using what the derivative of derivative of integration. So what the tax? 6 uh, minus 6 integral 4 du. I'll pick out all this term here. Minus integral with 4, attach du to it. What do I mean? Minus 6 integral 4 du separately. Pick out this one, attach this and this to it. I have this. Next up, minus times minus is what? Plus, I have 6 integral uh, u squared du. The fact is to pick out 4, attach this uh, 1, 2, 3, 4 to it. I have it. Next up, Minus times minus is what? Plus 6 integral this man here and the u. I have it here. Of course, I can easily what? Bring down the constant term. After the integral sign, I'll have um, minus 24 the u. Perhaps 4 times 6 is um, 24. Minus 24 the u. Plus uh, 6 integral. What is it? Okay, sorry, sorry. I have integral here, please. I got the total term. I have that. So 4 will come out here. That becomes 4 minus 4 integral of what? The u plus 6 integral the u squared. Uh, sorry, u squared the u. At this point, now we recall something. We say something in the class that if I integrate the y, I'll have y. If I integrate the x, I'll have x. Of course, at this point, perhaps at this point, I have minus 24. If I integrate the u, I'll have what then? I'll have u plus 6. If I integrate u squared, I'll have u plus 2. u to the power 2 plus 1. We said add up to the power. All over what you have in the power, write it down here. 2 plus 1. Next up, plus c. Sure.